Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. It's August in Michigan, and pretty soon it's going to be marathon season. And we're going to be talking about marathoning in Canada with none other than the race director himself of the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon and the Canada Running Series, Alan Brooks. Alan, welcome to the other side of the bridge. Well, thank you very much, Jenny, and uh, it's great to be here at the Crim again. Uh, marvelous weekend, and uh, great to be here with the gang from Michigan Runner. And as you say, uh, it's marathon season that's coming up very, very soon. Our own Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon is five weeks from now, the weekend of September 26th to 28th. Uh, there's a half marathon as well as a full, and uh, uh, Detroit coming up three weeks after that. Uh, lots of marathoning, Chicago in between, so they're going to come fast and furious, and uh, I think that turns the spotlight uh, to the marathon. Uh, uh, we have Kathy Butler uh, uh, after three Chicagos, one London and one uh, Tokyo. She's running Toronto Waterfront and uh, hoping for a PR. Uh, so. Uh, um, she was chatting to me the other day over the phone. She lives and trains in uh, uh, just outside Boulder now, of course, and uh, is uh, uh, you know a Chicago, uh, Wisconsin uh, uh, alumni. And she was saying uh, she wanted to move up to the marathon a few years ago and try it after all her track success because it really was the pinnacle of road running, and she wanted to be there for the marathon to experience it, to give it a go. Well, she's been there all right. She's been a high-profile runner for some time, but let me get this straight. She's originally from Kitchener, Ontario. She's got British citizenship. She went to college in Wisconsin, and she lives in Boulder, Colorado. Do I have that right? She says she has three homes. Uh, you almost have it right, Jenny. She grew up in the U.K., but when she was... 11 years old, she moved to Kitchener, just outside Toronto. She was a high school cross country and track star. Um, then she became a Wisconsin Badger there, uh, moved uh, to the States, but she, she ran for Canada uh, uh, at the 5,000 meters at the uh, 96 Olympics in uh, Atlanta. Uh, and uh, she's still our Canadian women's 5,000 meter record holder. But in the 90s, uh, you know, there was just running distance running and well athletics in general really suffered in Canada in the aftermath of the Ben Johnson uh, uh, affair uh, and uh, the, there wasn't a lot of uh, corporate funding federation funding for athletes and uh, it all blew up as a big big story in Canada uh, in 1999 Kathy uh, went to the World Cross in Belfast uh, and uh, she placed fourth in the short race, fourth in the world, and she had to pay herself $1,250 towards the $1,500 cost to be there. Uh, and the next year she defected uh, back to run for Great Britain because she was born in Scotland. She returned to Canada to run in the World Championships in 2001 as a Brit and now uh, she's coming back. Her mum still lives and her sister in Kitchener. And the exciting thing is she's hoping for a PR. She's run 228.39 in Chicago. Sylvia Ruger's national record is 228.36. That's lasted since she ran that in Houston in 1985, uh, 23 years ago. Uh, Kathy could come back, win our race, beat all the Africans with the 227, but it won't be a Canadian record. And she'll be running at home with her mom there. Uh, it'll be, uh, you know, a British time, yeah. But you know, you've been collecting some records for a while now, so you could say that's the fastest marathon run on Canadian soil or something like that? It is. and. Um, uh, John Kelly's 2930 last year was the fastest marathon ever run on Canadian soil. We were one of only four sub 210 marathons in North America last year. New York City, Rock and Roll San Diego, and the US Olympic Trials, of course. Uh, and then uh, Toronto Waterfront, the only sub 210s. So I think it's all part of a, an exciting renaissance of marathon running in Canada right now. We're about almost a decade behind the US. The Brooks Canada Marathon Project was set up last year. 
We have a very exciting young man called Dylan Wicks, went to Providence College, was only, is only 24, just about to turn 25, I think. He did his debut in Rotterdam, 215. I think he can do a 213, maybe. And we have three or four guys, Eric Gillis, who just ran the 10,000, um, Simon Beru from uh, uh, Saskatchewan, uh, Eric's in the Speed River Project in Guelph, uh, there with uh, Dave Scott Thomas, uh, and there's also uh, a couple of other guys there, Reed Kulaset, who we hoped would get to Beijing, but had injury problems. They're all looking to move up to the marathon next year, so uh, it, it's really, as I say, we're about eight years behind the U.S., but this is having local grown heroes, having media excitement around that, excitement uh, in races like Toronto Waterfront. Ottawa has been doing a great job the last couple of years. That We're, we're building that critical mass. Well, Simon's a pretty interesting guy, and he's familiar to a lot of cross-country runners because he won NCAA twice, and he's another Badger. So uh, there must be something about this up north running that's good for some of these Canadian guys. Oh, and, uh, you know, it, it's been, uh, uh, well, places like Wisconsin and Michigan, of course, uh, with Sully and uh, Nate Brannon. Uh, uh, and Nick Willis. Yeah, uh, just tremendously uh, important. But the neat thing that's happening now, uh, and, and of course both can happen and will continue to happen, is at places like Guelph, the Brooks Canada Marathon Project in Toronto itself, uh, we're actually having some support support facilities and infrastructure developing at home the way the Hansons Brooks project is here, the way Mammoth Lakes is, uh, and, and we feel that that's going to help create some more depth. So Alan, with the resurgence of marathoning not only in the U.S. but certainly in Canada, what are some races people should look at to do in Canada? Well, uh, that's always a tough question, isn't it, Jenny? It's like what's a good pig for bacon and a good pig for showing? Uh, I have my own favorites. As I said, Toronto Waterfront, uh, Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront and Ottawa are the two races in Canada that have an elite program and have lots of uh, slower runners too, uh, but, but they're really the creme de la creme in terms of organization. There's some fantastic destination uh, races uh, like Victoria in October uh, that always features well in the Runners World Service, Quebec City that's actually this weekend. Uh, they're well organized. But the thing is in Canada right now, we don't have any really big races. Uh, believe it or not, there's never been a marathon in Canada with more than 5,000 runners. Uh, Vancouver and Ottawa are about four now. Toronto Waterfront's just over three, you know, in the full marathon, 26 miles. Um, so we have a lot of races, about a thousand people. Niagara has about a thousand, Montreal has about a thousand, uh, Calgary's just maybe seven or eight hundred. Uh, and so it depends what you're looking for. Are, uh, if you want the big city experience, definitely Toronto Waterfront. Uh, Ottawa is a smaller city if you want the Canadian wilderness too. Like they've got a, a fantastic weekend, 30,000 people in all their events from the 5K, the 10K over the weekend. Uh, and then you've got all the wilderness around there, the Algonquin parks and so on. Um, Vancouver right now, uh, probably in British Columbia, Victoria is the marathon that's growing, uh, and uh, Quebec City in, in, in Quebec. Um, I think the Blue Nose in Halifax, again, is still small. That, believe it or not, that's probably about four or five hundred. Uh, so uh, we've had a lot of good comments, uh, and, and I'm sure in Ottawa too, the actual size of our marathons, they're good places to get Boston qualifiers. Uh, run a good time, get bands, entertainment on the course, visit neat cities, but you're not battling the crowds that you would be in Chicago uh, uh, or, or New York. So uh, great weekends. Come up and see us September 26th.